one day I'm gonna be the number one tennis player in the league. I don't know, man. Raphael's number one. Hey, hey, you just stepped on my brand new shoes, bro. I'm so sorry, Raphael. How'd you like it if I step on you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, your shoes are so busted, if I stepped on them, it wouldn't make a difference, bro. <laughs> yeah. Dad doesn't have a lot of money, so I can't buy new shoes. Yeah, yeah, we can tell, buddy. <laughs> no wonder he sucks at tennis, oh. right? <laughs> Everyone grab a racket, let's get started. Out of my way, bum. Uh, yeah, yeah, my dad actually paid extra to have it custom strung for me. Dang. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a win, you have to have the best, am I right? <laughs> hey, 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 poor boy! Don't tell me that's your racket! Yeah, why? It looks like it's from the Goodwill, it dude! <laughs> but it looks like it's a hundred years old or something, bro! It's my dad's racket from when he used to play. Hey, you know, hey, let me see that, bro. <laughs> Nah, bro. Bro, I I'm not gonna lie. I, I wouldn't be caught dead with this thing. Come on, man. Just give it back. You know, listen up, okay? This is why you'll never win a tennis game, right? <laughs> what a loser. Now, as you all know, league championships are coming. Not that there will be any surprise with who wins. Hey! <laughs> so, let's start with practicing serves. Hey, coach. There was a problem with Roger's payment. What do you mean? His dad's check bounce, so he doesn't pay for any lessons. <laughs> okay, I mean, come on, is it really a surprise? <laughs> look at his, look at his racket, look at his shoes. I mean, come on. I'm sorry, Roger. You won't be able to play with us today. <laughs> hey, 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 by the way, by the way, might as well just quit, you broke boy. <laughs> hey. Hey, Roger. How was practice? It was horrible. I got made fun of, and they said I couldn't even play because your check bounced. Oh, Roger, I'm sorry. I swear I had enough. Okay, well, so look, I get paid Friday. You know what, just forget it. I'm never gonna win with these beat up shoes and this old crappy racket. I give up. Well, you think I became champion because I had nice equipment? It's not about that. Wait, you were the champion? Yeah, I was. Whoa, I, I had no idea. And you won playing with that racket? Yeah, I didn't need a new racket or fancy shoes or even lessons. Because winning is not about what you have. It's about being willing to work hard enough After hearing his dad's story, Roger gets excited about his dream again. He starts practicing every single day with his dad, working really hard to improve his game. Over time, he starts getting really good. When the championships arrive, he quickly defeats his first opponent. He even wins his second match. Roger continues beating all of his opponents and makes it all the way to the finals. With his old gear, Roger now faces off against none other than Raphael in the championships. In a stunning series of events, Roger now leads Rafael seven points to six in this third set tiebreaker. He's about to serve four match point. Roger, 
Congratulations on your big win. Oh, thank you. So tell us, how does an unranked player playing with some old shoes and an old tennis racket go on to win a championship? Well, <laughs> a wise man once told me, winning isn't about what you have. It's about how hard you're willing to work. Oh my gosh, look. There's Noah. He's so hot. I heard he rejected Madison to the prom. I wonder who he's gonna ask. Uh, me. Duh. He's the quarterback and I'm captain of the cheerleading team. It only makes sense. Hey, watch where you're going. I'm so sorry, Angela. It was an accident. You better be sorry, wheelchair Wendy. Don't they have special lanes for people like you? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go talk to Noah. I'll talk to you later. All right, good luck. Hey, Noah. You look handsome today, and I love that jacket. Hey, thanks, Angela. So, prom's coming up soon. Uh -huh. Have you figured out who you're taking? No, not yet, but I did have someone special in mind. Oh, how cute. So, does that mean you're asking? Uh, oh. Can't you do anything right? Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, would, would one of you mind helping me reach that? No. Just because your legs don't work doesn't mean your arms don't work. I'll help you, Wendy. Thanks, Noah. It's not a problem. Hey, um, I know this is probably a long shot, but uh, since prom is coming up, would you want to go with me? <laughs> you have to be kidding. You really think the captain of the football team is going to go to prom with someone like you? Well, I... Angela, that was really mean. Oh, come on, I'm just being honest. So why don't you walk, I mean, wheel your way on out of here? How can you say something like that to her? Oh, come on, why do you keep sticking up for her? Because I know what it feels like to be in her shoes. You see, a few years ago, I took a really bad hit while I was playing football. I was on the ground, and I couldn't get up. When I got to the hospital, the doctor told me that I wouldn't be able to walk for a really long time. So I ended up in a wheelchair. But do you know what hurt even more? How other people would treat me. They'd stop and stare and make me feel like I was beneath them. So you see, I know what it feels like to be in a wheelchair. And Wendy doesn't deserve to be treated that way. Wow, I had no idea you went through any of that. I'm so sorry, Noah. You don't owe me an apology. You owe it to Wendy. Just next time before you judge someone in a wheelchair, try sitting in one. Thanks for going to prom with me. Oh, hey, Wendy. You look really pretty in that dress. Oh, uh, thanks. So do you. Look, I've been meaning to talk to you. I feel really bad about how I treated you a few days ago. Do you think you could forgive me? It's okay, don't worry about it. Of course. Thanks. If you don't have a date, you can come hang out with us. Oops. Oh, uh, actually. These are for you? Wow, you look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. No, 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 please. Oh. Allow me. Five seconds left and we're down by two. All we need is a three-pointer. What should we do, Coach Brown? Hit the ball to Liam. Come here. Listen, the game is in your hands, son. 
You make this shot, we're going to game seven in the championship. All right? Bring it in. One on three. One, two, three. Play. One, three. Come on. Let's go. Never beaten me. But you thought you were gonna win today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Rainbow tail. Huh? Trying to embarrass me here? No, I know. Of course. Of course. I thought everybody knew that I was gifted. I don't wanna hear it. No. On my team, gay cannot play. Look at this freaking tail. And don't you ever disrespect me. You got that? Yes. I'm sorry. Hey, Garrison. Come tomorrow in the finals, that championship trophy is ours. But great game. Yeah. Hey, Liam. Why was Coach so upset with you? Uh, he didn't like my little gay pride tribute. Hey, give it back. Give it. Come on, give it back. Nope. Oh. Yeah, just like on the court. Hey, what's going on here? I thought I told you to get rid of that thing. Well, it's not my fault. You see, the guys are just... Shh. I don't think it makes much sense for you to change in here anymore. What? What are you talking about? This is the locker room I've always changed in. Yeah, well, that's before I found out about you. Now, let me make something clear. You may be on the same team as us on the court, but you are not on the same team as us off. Get out. Coach, come Coach, on. Come on. Playing ball. Quiet. He's lucky I'm even letting him play tomorrow. Out. Yeah, I'll see you at the game tomorrow. Oh, Liam! So glad that I found you. Hi, I'm from Sports Daily. So, how are you feeling about tomorrow's championship game? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good, I guess. Well, I hear there's going to be some college scouts there. Do you think you'll get a scholarship? I sure hope so. You know, that'd be my dream to play for a team like UCLA. Liam! Um, hey, that shot was amazing. Thanks. <laughs> Hello, uh, uh, is he your? Oh, oh, boyfriend. Oh, 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 well in that case, do you think I could get a picture of the two of you? It's for the cover. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess that's fine. Wonderful. No, stop, stop, no, 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 no photos. He just said I could. So. I don't care, interview is over, toots. You, wait here. You trying to make me look bad? No, why would I do that? Then why are you going around trying to tell the whole world that you're gay? You know what? I can't do this anymore. You're off the team. What? But, but tomorrow's the big championship game and I'm your best player. You can't do that. We're my best player. That is before I found out about you. I don't need you on my team to win. And on my team, like I said earlier, gay cannot play. Please, no, 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 don't do this. You know, I really thought you'd go to college. Like a good one. Maybe even the NBA. Once people find out about you, no one's gonna want you, man. Maybe you should just be a cheerleader or something. Hey. Okay? I uh, saw all that, I'm sorry. You sure you are. I bet you're throwing them off the team and won't be playing them all. No. No, no, I'm not. I feel terrible about the way he just treated you. No one should be made to feel that way. Whatever. It doesn't matter. My career in basketball is over. No team's gonna want me because I'm gay. That's not true. 
How would you know? Because I want you to come play on my team. What? What? Really? Well, is that even allowed? Yeah, sure it is. And to be honest, it would be an absolute honor to have you. Uh. Oh, and uh, you know what? For all that it is worth, you can use whatever towel you'd like. Okay. Yeah, um, I guess I'll think about that. Liam leaves with the coach's words on his mind. The next day at the final championship game, Liam was nowhere to be found. The blue team gets an early lead, scoring basket after basket. By the time the first half is over, the blue team already has a 10 point lead. Just as things weren't looking too good for the red team, in the second half, they start making a major comeback and eventually cut the blue team's lead down to just two points with seconds remaining. Keep the enthusiasm up. Stay with me. We got it. No worries. Hey, look, it's Liam. Hey, what up, Liam? Hey, hey, hey guys. Hey. hey. What are you doing here, man? I thought I told you. Take I know. Don't worry. I'm not playing for you. I'm playing for Coach Garrison instead. No, 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 no. You can't do no. Ref. I just cut this kid from my team yesterday. Now he's gonna go play for the other side. He can't do that. It's against the rules, right? Actually, there's no rule against that. He's allowed to play. All right, double team lead. Okay, whatever it takes, do not let that sissy boy score. Come on, guys, you got that? We have never lost to these clowns, and we're not gonna lose to them today. All right? Let's get it together. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. One on three. One, two, three. Play. shot, Liam. It's a great shot. You know, it's just too bad, you know, that that was the last one. What are you talking about, man? Oh, come on. When people see him for who he is, colleges aren't going to take him seriously. He's not going to get recruited. Hey, that's not true, okay? Don't listen to him. Well, then where are the recruiters? Where are they? I don't see any. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> Maybe this was a bad idea. Liam, great performance. I mean, I can't believe you did that two days in a row. Thanks. Um, sorry, I don't know who you are. Oh, sorry. Allow me to introduce myself. Coach Nick Ronan from UCLA. And I'd love to talk to you about coming to play with us. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. What? Wait. Coach Ronan, I'm Coach Brown. I'm sure you know who I am. There's something that uh, Liam, I think he would like to share with you about himself. Oh yeah? Yeah. What's that? Come on, Liam. Tell him. Liam, you don't have to tell him anything that you don't want. I'm gay. Okay. So? So? What do you mean, so? You're gonna recruit him? Well, just because you're gay doesn't mean you can't play. <laughs> now, as I was saying, UCLA has a great program, 
I really think you'd love it there. Oh, I know all about UCLA's basketball programming. I've always wanted to be a Bruin, like ever since I was a little kid. Awesome. It's crazy. <gasps> that was Tiffany and Michelle. So, um, so cool. no, no, be cool, be cool. Hey, hey, girls. Um, do you girls want to come nice hang out? Nice glasses, dork. We're not interested. Bye. <laughs> Dude, no girls ever want to talk to me. It's like the whole school thinks we're nerds. So there's nothing wrong with being a nerd. I mean, we just got a scholarship to one of the best colleges in the country. Wait, look, there goes Bryce and Matthew. They're like the coolest kids in school. Dude, who cares? I'll do anything to be as cool as them. Hey, you mind getting us some beers? Yeah, you. Me. Bears. Yeah, 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 sure. Here you go. Yo, wait a second. Wait, where are your beers at? Or do nerds not drink? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just not old enough. Look, so. I, I was actually about to grab one. Yeah. What are you doing? Don't let them peer pressure you into drinking. They think I'm a nerd. This is like my one chance of being cool. Dude, who cares what they think? All right, my mom always says that the nerds in high school grow up to be cool as adults because we're gonna be successful. Your mom says? Yeah. You sound like such a dork, Nelson. Let's do this, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. 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 No. I, I think you should stop drinking, yeah. man. Do you there? you have a light? Yes, I do. Here you go. Okay, sorry, we, we don't we don't smoke. Of course you don't. Why are we asking the nerds? Hey, hey you have some cheers, man. Hey. Hey, Cal, you want a hit? Yeah. No, you don't. My man. <laughs> oh, oh, buddy, buddy. Hey. Okay, guys, <coughs> enough of this weed stuff. Anyone really want to party? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Let's yep. do it. All right. I got one for you. One for you. <laughs> one for you. Oh, hold on, hold on. You win? He's a square. He's not going to take one. <laughs> All right, he's cool. Watch. Come on, man. Take it. Yeah. Be cool. Yeah. Wait, can you give us one second, please? Just... Okay. Nerd. Nerd. What? Dude, what are you doing, man? Stop letting these guys peer pressure you to these bad decisions. This is my one shot to finally be cool, and you're ruining it. Dude, drinking is not cool. Smoking is not cool. Drugs is not cool. All right, 10 years from now, these guys are going to wish that they were us, not the other way around. Like, just watch. Hey, are you coming? Just one second. Yo, come on, man. I thought you were cool. We're waiting for you. Yeah, Cal. Hey, look. Please, just listen, okay? Like, these guys are bad news. Think about our scholarship, our college. We're going to go to college together, man. C Calvin. I'm sorry, man. I got to go. Hey, there he is. Go. Come on. Hey. Hey. Nelson is so disappointed watching Calvin give in to peer pressure. He decides to leave the party. Calvin stays at the party and continues to give in to peer pressure. Everyone tells him to chug more beers and get more messed up. Before long, the police show up. Calvin gets stuck with the drugs and the police arrest him.
As he sits there in jail, he gets handed a letter from his university. They find out about his drug charges and revoke his college scholarship and admission. Calvin's life starts to go downhill, while Nelson's life starts to go uphill. He ends up attending college and stays focused on his future. A few years later, Nelson graduates with honors. His parents couldn't be any more proud of him. Nelson goes on and starts his own business and ends up becoming really successful. And then one day, Nelson happens to run into Calvin. All right, I say we go back to my spot and hang out there. Oh man, check out that car. That's sweet. Nelson? Nelson? Calvin? I haven't seen you since... Wait. Aren't you that nerd from high school? Yeah. I, I guess. Oh my gosh. And you drive this car now? <laughs> how, how did you even get something like this? Well, I mean, I graduated college and uh, I started my own business and I guess it's going pretty well. Um, how about you guys? What, what, are you, what have you been up to? Nothing much, really. Kind of been in the same spot from when you left. Yeah. Oh. Hey, do you want to hang out? Yeah, we love to go for a drive. Hey, babe. Hey, how you doing? Good. Good. Um, sorry, I would, I would love to, but I can't. Shall we? Yeah. Bye. That was really good seeing you guys again. You too. Wow, man. It's got to be the coolest guy I've ever seen in my life. I guess it's true. The nerds in high school are the ones that become cool as adults. I still can't believe I'm sitting next to the Tony Robinson. Well, you better believe me. Come here. Jada? Who is that? It's my wife. What are you doing here? You were supposed to be at basketball practice. But instead you're here cheating on me with another woman. What do you expect? All famous people cheat. <sighs> Who are you? You have really changed. All of your promises, they didn't mean anything. Promises? What are you talking about? How could you forget? You see, the first time you made a promise to me, we were just kids. It's fourth quarter. Makes it down by one. There's five seconds left on the clock. Tony Robbins gets the ball, he shoots, and... He scores! Yay, Lakers win! Thanks for being here. So, Jada, do you really think I'll make it to the NBA? I don't think so. I know so. I just hope you don't change when you get there. What do you mean? Lots of people become famous. Then they change. Hey, listen to me. No matter what happens, I'm never going to change. I promise. And then last week, you made that same promise. The Golden State Warriors choose James Smartman. They chose James for the first pick? It's okay, baby. You'll be next. I just know it. And for the second round draft pick, the Los Angeles Lakers select Tony Robinson. Oh my God! Oh, I'm gonna be a Laker! Congrats, baby! Wow. <laughs> I always believed in you. Oh, and look, you're famous. That's like we talked about when we were kids. I 
Hey, listen. Don't think I forgot about my promise. No matter what happens, I'll never change. So you see, you promised me that you would never change. Well, I'm sorry, but sometimes things don't work out the way we want them to. I supported you when you were nobody, and now you treat me like this? Good luck with your new life, Tony. Jada is heartbroken. She walks away in tears. Without Jada to keep him focused, Tony starts partying and drinking all the time. He quickly forgets all about basketball. Before long, Tony starts to get into trouble. One day he gets pulled over and arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol. Everything quickly goes downhill for Tony. He ends up in jail and then receives a letter telling him that his offer to play in the NBA has been canceled. Tony lost everything. And then one day, he happens to run into his ex-wife. Jada? Uh, oh, hey. Wow, I can't believe it's you. Listen, Jada, my whole life really went downhill after you left. Do you think we could try this again? I'm sorry, but I've moved on. Moved on? But with who? Hey, Tony. James? Oh, wow, Jada, you really changed. Well, I'm sorry, but things don't always work out the way we want them to. Goodbye, Tony. I mean, what if your sister doesn't like me? Not everyone understands our age difference. This is your new girlfriend? Gail's not my girlfriend. Thank goodness. I'm his fiance. Somebody tell me this is a sick joke. This is the biggest mistake of your life.